Hi, Gabrielle. How are you? Fantastic. How are you? Good, good. Congratulations on this and the second season. And um, one thing that struck me about not just the second season, but the whole thing uh, altogether is just it has that quality of very old fashioned classic um, 80s, even 70s um, uh, uh, animation. Uh, that really mainstream, big mainstream animation that we all grew up on. Uh, personally, not you, but obviously you're younger. Well, how does it feel for you to be part of this? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, just speaking to the visual style of it, I've never worked on a project that looked quite like this. Um, and it's just magical to finally get to see it all put together, you know, because when you're in the booth, you don't get to do it to picture. You're just kind of there by yourself looking at a script. But when you have the opportunity to see it all put together in the the visual style that our wonderful creative team has created. It's just, it's mind blowing. Yeah. What, what were the kind of uh, animations you were brought up on, like after school, uh, things that you would run home to go and watch? Oh, like my favorite shows? Yeah. Hmm. I think, uh, I remember I loved Phineas and Ferb. Like that was something that I was always like, yeah, like I, I have to see that. Um, I think current day, I really enjoy watching Bluey after a horror movie because I'm a really, I'm a, <laughs> I mean, I can watch Curses because our scares aren't too, too bad, but um, Bluey is a, is a go-to for me when I'm watching horror animation. It has that kind of Scooby-Doo quality about it. Have you been told that as well before? Yeah, yeah. Curses um, reminds me a lot of I would say like a reverse Indiana Jones in a way, as opposed to like a Scooby-Doo. But mm. yeah, I think for this generation of kids, hopefully we have the same impact as Scooby-Doo did. You know, hopefully we're as iconic, but mm. you know, I hope people just love it as much as I do. Yeah, let's talk about Pandora. What was it about that character that made you want to be part of this or, or in, a, in the voice department? She's so fun. Pandora is very, as far as like her vocal print is concerned, she's very pinched and very clenched um, because she is a little younger than I am. She's still in her uh, kind of tween space. So I think what drew me to Pandora was just her sense of adventure and her sense of just vibrancy about life. I think that's the most fun that I have with this character is, is tapping into my childlike wonder and, and excitement of always being down for an adventure. What are the qualities in her that you admired through doing this and you wish you could also, or perhaps you do have, what are the, the, the most important qualities about Pandora, do you think? Pandora's very brave. And I like to think that I'm brave in my own right, but when it comes to fighting a big monster, I don't think that I uh, exactly have a skill set for that. So even though she is still a kid, I admire that she, she always goes all in right and it's all about family it's all about protecting her brother and her mom and her dad and I think that's something that I really admire and I and I also share with Pandora is the sense of family and the importance of family but something that we don't have in common is you know skateboarding right into danger I, I, I'm a little apprehensive about that. And what was it like working with DreamWorks getting to, to work with such an iconic sort of studio uh, when it comes to um, animations and were there any um, other DreamWorks uh, uh, projects that you've um, that you admired quietly before you worked here before you worked with this uh, with the studio? It was mind blowing to have the opportunity to work with DreamWorks because I grew up watching their animations. I grew up watching Shrek. I grew up watching Kung Fu Panda. So it's it's surreal to be working at the place where the the place that birthed these iconic films and these iconic characters that I grew up watching. I remember going to the DreamWorks studio for the first time and just being like, "Wow, I'm really here!" Like they have these statues of Kung Fu Panda and and Shrek and like these photo ops for you to take pictures and I'm like walking around and I'm like wow this is where the magic happens so it's really a blessing and I'm truly honored to work with such an iconic company. Okay, tell us what we can expect uh, from the save from the second season. Yeah, so season two of Curses is going to be a bigger and better adventure it's an action horror comedy as I like to say and and I think that kids and families at home are really going to enjoy the visual style of this season and the storytelling we we dive deeper into artifacts and we go we travel around the world so I think fans at home are really going to enjoy the mm. 
expansiveness of this season. Well, brilliant. Thank you so much. And congratulations again. I really enjoyed it. It really reminded me of, of all the animations I watched when I was younger. So thank you so, so much for your time. Wonderful. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, hey, hey. That's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.